Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. This one is for October. First I'm going to start off with a shout out to Jen Bernardini. If you want to check out her channel and I suggest you do, link is up there. Wait a second for that go away. First she sent, uh, sent me an amazing card, Halloween card, very cool of her. Left me a little note in here. I'm not going to read the note. But she also sent me some bookmarks. If you guys don't know, I love, absolutely love bookmarks. I don't know why, but I collect them. I have a massive collection, probably over 100 bookmarks. She sent these. This is all of her own photography. This isn't stock stuff. She posted this. Uh, she goes for walks quite often, and she posted these up on uh, Instagram. And I really, really love this one. This one's of train tracks. The full image is even better, but I do love the uh, the uh, the bookmark. On the back it has a little bumblebee, and it says, Creativity starts with you, jenbernardini.com. And the other one, this one, sorry, this one says, Courage does not always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. And that's all writing really is. So she's a writer. And that's great advice, period. So we're going to jump into the books now. I'm going to try and get through this as quick as possible. Um, if you've read any of these books, let me know down there in the comments below. Um, we're going to start off with some free stuff that I got. And then uh, I guess a little bit of story time while we go along. So first off, we got the bridge over the River Kwai. Kwai? I'm not sure. But uh, <laughs> in the uh, I got this for free at the library. They had a bunch of classics just free. Um, there, it's a very, very old version before even the UPC codes. I think there was a movie about this. I'm not sure. A classic film. Next up we have The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. I was going to research this before I did this video, but I think there's a Daniel Radcliffe movie that just came out, and I'm wondered if this is, if that movie was based on this, because Radcliffe does a lot of stuff that was, that's based on uh, books, you know, Harry Potter, um, the uh, Horns, the Joe Hill adaptation, and what was the other one? The uh, the, the Woman in Black, uh, that one. So I'm, I'm I'm wondering if this was a book first also. Then we got The Stranger, by Albert Camus, Camus, whatever. You guys know I can't pronounce anything. Um, but again, all none, none of these have the UPC codes. Next, we're going to get into what I picked up at while I was in Hoover, Alabama, doing my talk. Um, if you want to watch that, a link down there in the doobly-doo. It'll send you over, not to my channel, but to the Hoover Public Library's channel. You can watch that there. So, um, while I was in Hoover, Alabama, I stopped by uh, Second and Charles, which is an amazing bookstore. Um, if you have one, let me know down there in the comments below. It's like Disneyland for readers. <laughs> so, first off, I got, and these were all insanely cheap, too. Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It was only two ninety-five. That's nuts. It's like eight bucks on Amazon, um, and it's in great condition. Uh, they rarely have anything that's in trash condition. They have an entire uh, not uh, department is the word I'm looking for. An entire department just goes through and checks the quality of books before they decide to buy them used. Next up, I got Piercing by Ryu Murakami. I have long since put off buying this because I knew how short it was, I knew how small it was, um, and online something like 14 bucks. This was $4.25, so I snagged it. I loved In the Miso Soup, and if you guys have seen my uh, most disturbing scenes or books, In the Miso Soup was on there, so I'm really looking forward to reading Piercing. Next up, I finally got a hold of this. I have read this, but I don't own a copy. I read the ebook version because it was on sale for 99 cents at one point. Um, it is The Crying of Lot 49 by Thomas Pynchon. Uh, me and Shell are currently struggling our asses off trying to get through Gravity's Rainbow, so we may stop that one and read. I'll reread this one. I'll read this one to her instead for the smartening. Um, if we can get over the hump of Gravity's Rainbow, we'll continue on with that, but right now we're, we're not enjoying it anywhere near as much as we did Infinite Jest. Next up, my buddy Jake on Twitter. Not Jake LaFrance, I got another buddy. Um, his, his name's Primordial Super, something like that, uh, on Twitter. But I was uh, ranting and raving about how terrific uh, da, 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 One Flow of the Cuckoo's Nest was, and he said, you got to read Sometimes a Great Notion. So I picked this up. It's by Ken Kessie, Casey, whatever. Uh, Sometimes a Great Notion. Uh, the This is 
not the cover that was shown on Amazon, and I'm glad because that cover was some blue abstract art. The colors didn't even go well together, so I'm glad I got this one. I far prefer this cover over the other one, and that usually doesn't happen on Amazon. Usually I get to cover a, a really terrible cover version, of, especially of classics. So, next up, one that I've had on my Goodreads uh, TBR. Oh, by the way, this one was a quarter. At, uh, no, this one wasn't a quarter. The next one's a quarter. This one I bought used on Amazon. It was like seven bucks, I think, something like that. But uh, the Pension, the Mirakami, and the uh, Slaughterhouse Five I, I got at Second and Charles. This one I got off Amazon. Next up, this is basically my quarter book haul. It looks like I do have one more that I got off Amazon. But Dreamland by Kevin Baker. I love stories. Uh, like this it is not I don't think it's a story it might even be no it is it's a novel so it's fiction one of my favorite books is uh, Palisades Park by Alan Bernert um, Brennert something like that um, and it's all about the uh, what are they called uh, I can't remember uh, da -da 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 -da. it's the like boardwalk kind of deal I forget what they're called um, but the boardwalk amusement park uh, I, I love reading about stuff like that. I just like carnival stories in general, but I especially like the ones on, on the boardwalk by the water. So I grabbed that. Next up was a quarter. This was only a quarter. After Dark by Haruki Mirakami. I own this one, but it's the new Rainbow Edition. Um, and what I mean by Rainbow Edition is he has a very colorful line, but I missed out on the ones with just people's faces on them. Uh, and I'm going to try and collect those next. But... This one is probably my favorite cover from him, other than the hardcover version of 1Q84. It's very simplistic, but I love it, and it fits really well with the abstract nature of the story. So, next up, this is one uh, I got for a quarter also. I've been meaning to read it forever. I want to watch the movie, but uh, it's The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I can't imagine his name is pronounced any other way than Zusak. But, uh, Zusak? <laughs> Just, just to stay on theme. Um, the Book Thief. Uh, this one, I know it's narrated by Death, or at least I think it is. It's about Death and a little girl or a little boy. I can't remember. I, I haven't read too much about it. I like the idea of it uh, from the reviews that I've read about it. Got that one for a quarter. This one is another one I've been hunting forever. Uh, I've been trying to get through all of John Irving's stuff, but I have been stuck on A Widow. widow for a year. Um, I can't seem to get into that one. I can only get about 50 to 100 pages and then I put it down. But this one is Last Night in Twisted River. Uh, funny little story about this one. The, I know how this one ends, unfortunately, because John Irving is not one that cares about spoiling his books. So when he was doing the press conference for this one, I was watching interviews with him when he was doing the press for this book. When it first came out, he gave away the ending. He just The man has no no care in the world for, for for whether or not you're spoiled um anyways and i think it's actually a twist ending which makes it even worse but that's last night in twisted river next up is another one that i ended up finding for a quarter that i i'm just i'm blown away that i found all of these i've been searching for them forever i didn't want to pay full price on them because i'm not all that certain i'm going to like them but shardic by richard adams um, this book, if you watch the channel and you're a Stephen King fan, um, you know I've been looking for this one because it is mentioned in The Wastelands at the beginning of the book. Uh, this one is, it's huge. Um, this is another reason why I put off reading his other book, uh, what is it, um, Watership Down? I put off reading that one because that one's pretty big too, but this one I think is even longer. Um, it is 606 pages and it is very small type. Um, and it's a pretty big sized book. It's not 6x9, uh, but it, it is a good sized book. Next up, the last one uh, that... No, no, it's not the last one, but I got this one off of Amazon. I got one more off Amazon. But uh, this one, Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge. I spent an insane amount of money on this book because Keelan Patrick Burke recommended it. So many people recommended it. I got that far. See that? I got that far in the entire month of October. Nothing about this book called to me. Uh, I didn't have any fun with the opening parts of it. Maybe I'll try it again next year. I don't know. Maybe I'll even try it outside of Halloween. It just didn't evoke any a, a, any autumnal 
uh, emotions in me or any seasonal offerings, which is funny because it's supposed to be one of the best uh, Halloween reads ever written. Um, but we'll try again next year. Next, you got another quarter book. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I am a big John Green fan. I know a lot of people say that he's uh, sentimental and maudlin and um, he's also manipulative. Uh, that's fine. You can think whatever you want about the guy, but I enjoy his stories and I really don't care what anybody else thinks. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one because this one is about OCD, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, which I have a bit of, especially when it comes to my writing. Next up, I'm going to leave a certain book for last. This one was also a quarter. Uh, this, when, all the ones that I said are a quarter are from the thrift store here in town. Um, the story of Edgar Sawtell. Uh, I grabbed this one because, first off, I like a nice, big, thick, literary novel. And that's why I like John Irving. And this one has been great so far. I'm about that far into it. I need about 250 pages. Uh, might be more than that. Uh, 246, so I was almost right on the money. Uh, this one's good, but it's not something that I'm going to read fast. I've been reading this all month, and I've only made it that far. I read about a chapter a night, uh, right around there. The chapters are anywhere from uh, 10 to 30 pages long. But I'm enjoying it. It's just not going anywhere right now, but that's literary fiction. It's more about the characters than it is about the actual story. Um, it's more about following someone's journey through life. And last, but not least, one of my most anticipated books of the year. And I say that... But I'm concerned because I was super hyped up for Neverworld Wake, and that was terrible. I was hyped up for Elevation by Stephen King. Sorry, Mercer Passell did uh, Neverworld Wake. I hated that one. Gave that one star. Elevation, I gave one star. That one was by Stephen King. But my other favorite author, Haruki Murakami, just released the English uh, translation of his novel Killing Commendatore. Or Killing Commendatore. I don't think it's... I think it's uh, I think, I, I don't know, I might be wrong, who knows. Anyways, this is a beautiful, beautiful book, okay? You see the, the eye right here, the, the yellow? I, there's a nice feel to the texture to the actual dust jacket. But then you take off the dust jacket and you have this very cool, and this is just a standard, this is the standard hardcover from Knopf. I mean, this isn't a special edition. This thing is gorgeous. Nice, glossy, uh, hardcover binding. Yeah, I'm super excited to read this. I'm going to be reading this with my buddy Gregor Zane. And uh, I'm waiting for him to get his library copy. Uh, the price of this book is a little steep. And usually all of uh, Mirakami's stuff is steep because of the translation. Um, the audiobooks, the, uh, the hardcovers, even the ebook. I think the ebook's like $14.95, which is insane for an electronic copy of a book. Um, $10, I would say, would be, should be the norm for a traditionally published novel. Um, but like I said, I am so tentative about reading this because everything else I was looking forward to this year, uh, pretty much sucked, except for The Outsider. So, if you have your own hauls, I love to watch book hauls, and I love to see you guys put your book hauls down there in the doobly-doo, especially you, Dustin. Dustin always has the best one, so if you go through any of these book haul videos, definitely check out the comment section for Dustin's books, book hauls. He gets loads of stuff, and I really wish he would start his own YouTube channel, if only to show off what he buys every month. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book haul video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!